Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Diosh 4 watch winder. So let's go ahead and open up the box. So in this box is a Diosh watch winder and storage box. So it has two turntables for winding up to four automatic watches as well as individual compartments for watch storage. So we open up the box, but of course using a pen knife and cutting apart the clear packing tape that's keeping the box securely sealed and doing so very carefully as well okay setting the pen knife down let's pop open the flaps and show you the contents of the box so looking Directly into the box, you can see there appears to be a leaflet there with the instructions for the Diosh for watch winder. And continuing, let's remove the rest of the contents and we can take a close up look at the details later on. So, just lifting out the styrofoam and of course here you can see the Diosh for watch winder securely packaged so let's see if we can lift out the styrofoam inserts so that we can lift the watch winder out from its cardboard box packaging And excuse the struggle right here because of obviously there is a tripod and camcorder set up in the way so I might struggle a little but there we go lifting the watch winder straight out and let's take a look of course inside the packaging just to make sure nothing else is left behind so right there always check underneath as well so lifting all the styrofoam packing out and of course just checking through making sure nothing else is left behind I don't think there's anything else left under the hair but it's always worth checking to make sure right there okay so that's the box empty we can set that to the side and of course making some adjustments here to rearrange, rearrange the contents across the tabletop so you have a nice clear view of all the items that were removed from the box packaging okay so here's the diosh 4 automatic watch winder clearly presented across the tabletop as best i can okay so let's start off by first taking a look at the user manual so the user manual comes in a leaflet style and just taking a look at the details right there and of course there is a troubleshooting on the left hand side and then there are details on the of course FAQ and warranty information so I'm going to bring the leaflet right up close to the camcorder so you can see the text and information on it Okay, and of course, quite importantly, is the winding details in terms of the uh, turns and frequency as well, if there's any at all. So text is a bit small for me to read um, through the camcorder's LCD, but there, I'm sure looking at your screen wherever you're viewing from hopefully that should present itself clearly so just going to set the user manual up there and moving right along there is a little white box here which i believe is the power adapter let's pop it open and check the contents out and so there is a power adapter so just making sure that nothing else is left in the box packaging so right there emptied and giving you a look at this 
packet here with power adapter. Let's take it out from its clear plastic packet. So giving you a look up close so you can see it does have a British three pin plug and giving you a much closer look of course to the specifications and details so you can see on the other end of the plug is a DC connector right there right there giving you as best I can a look at the power adapter and of course the details and specifications okay and of course undoing the cable tie so you know the length of the cable which is quite important when it comes to positioning or sighting your Diosh for watch winder okay so just trying to undo this cable tie here right there setting it aside and now let's show you the length of the cable so right there unwinding it as best I can so right there pretty decent length of cable for the power adapter right there okay and now setting the power adapter down we can move on to the to the watch winder itself so right here you can see the watch winder is protected in a white canvas bag this does have a drawstring to it let's open it up let's see there we go and you can see that the watch winder is further protected with some protective wrapper and let's slide the watch winder or at least maybe set it down on its side and lifting the white canvas bag off and very carefully making sure that we don't drop or tip the watch winder over so setting the bag down and the watch winder down as well and you can hear it does have a nice weight to it and just setting the watch winder in the middle of the frame right there as best I can and now let's cut open or cut apart the sticky tape that's keeping the protective wrapper on so very carefully using a pen knife once again making very very light and fine cuts right around the parts that are secured with the clear sticky tape there and now we can unwrap the watch winder okay so being careful to keep the lid down and just lifting that wrapper off now I'm really feeling a core workout now having to stretch around this tripod and camcorder but nonetheless we have achieved the unboxing here with the Diosh 4 watch winder as you can see it does have a nice dark wooden finish and in a very nice gloss as well right there so giving you a look as it is so size wise you can see that it does have two turntables in there so I'm just going to rest my hand on the watch winder just to give you some sense of scale or perspective right there so pretty large watch winder and nicely shaped as well you can see nice and consistent finish right round so right there as well you can see that kind of reddish brown grain or veining to that glossy wood texture it's right there 
and it does have two switches for individual control of each of the two turntables. So giving you a look right round. So all the details right there. And hopefully, let's see, this is going to be a bit of a trick, but I'll try my best to see if I can give you that close-up look as I always do in my videos. So right here, a test of my core strength, keeping this Leosh watch winder floating in the air and giving you a detailed look at that nice reddish brown wood grain to this watch winder. So lovely, lovely details right there. And the shape of this box is very, very classy with those nice rounded contours to a kind of masculine shape to it, as you can see, with those soft angles. And just right around, giving you a look at the back of the box as well, right there. And of course, the two switches for the individual control of each of the turntables. And of course, the DC plug socket as well for the power adapter to power this watch winder. So on the bottom side, you can see a nice flat base with a kind of velvet or felt covering. And giving you a look at some of the details right there. So right there, nice and flat surface. No legs or any feet to deal with. Giving it a nice low profile look, or at least lower profile look. And right there, giving you a look at all the angles of this watch winder. And of course there is a protective plastic film in the window of the watch winder, which I'll peel off in just a second, but just giving you once again various looks and angles to the various aspects of this Diosh for watch winder. Okay, so I'm going to peel off that protective plastic layer now. And right there. And unveiling that nice clear window and view into the watch winder so you can see the two turntables right there each one being able to hold two watches so four watches in total for the automatic winding system and then individual compartments right below in the lower section inside of the watch winder box. So once again, going to give you some idea of the size. I'm not going to rest my hand completely on it because I don't want to leave any marks, but right there, giving you some idea of the size of this Diosh 4 watch winder right there. Okay, and now lifting that lid up and giving you a clearer view. And actually, before I do that, let's give you an idea of the window material as well, which I believe is polycarbonate. So right there, you can hear. It's very tough and very clear as well. So no worries about breakage. Okay, right there. Giving you that nice clear view. And now popping the lid up and it stays up at an angle as you can see right there no problems staying open so once again giving you that nice clear view straight into the watch winder okay so of course this pillow has come loose from its compartment right there but you can see there are individual compartments below and there are two packets of silica gel or desiccant to keep the product nice and dry of course you want to dispose of that carefully and keeping it away from babies toddlers and young children and it also comes with 
a cleaning cloth as well. So giving you a look at this soft cleaning cloth. Okay, so we're going to set that cloth down. And giving you a look once again without the packet and cleaning cloth in the way you can see directly inside this Dios for watch winder and storage box with the storage compartments below for up to six watches and automatic winding for up to four automatic watches two on each turntable Okay, so setting the watch winder down again, I'm going to close the lid to give you that view again, but this time without the cleaning cloth and desiccant packets in the way, so giving you that clear view straight into the watch winder. So it does have a nice weight, but completely manageable right now. And of course, giving me that light workout to my core strength so we're setting it in the middle once again giving you that nice clear view of this Diosh 4 watch winder and storage box okay so lifting that box lid up let's take a look at the cushions so giving you a look at one of the six cushions for the individual compartments to store your bracelet all watches it's right there and I'm going to give you a close-up look as well so I'm going to pop one out so you can see the size or width of one of those compartments all, all six of them right there okay and next off of course is the pillow for the watch winder table you want to see the size of course and the material so it does have a felt like covering to it as well so kind of soft around the perimeter of the cushion or pillow to hold your watch with and the slots of course right there two slots per turntable okay so there we had a nice good look there so before anything else we should plug it in so let's plug the DC plug in into the rear right there section of the watch winder and of course, plugging the DC plug power adapter into a spare power socket and flipping that switch on. And those two individual switches are going to give you a look once again, but this time with the power adapter plugged in. So you can see two individual switches. Let's flip them on. And there you can hear there was that initial startup noise, but right there it's completely silent now. And it is extremely, extremely quiet as you can hear or not hear. And that's two motors turning at the same time. But of course, with the lid up, there is audible noise right now, but with, of course, the cover down or lid down, as it should work, it is completely quiet. And the rotation modes, so there is only one rotation mode, no selection or whatsoever, and the turns is two minutes, turning in one direction and then pausing for six minutes and then turning in the opposite direction for another two minutes and pausing for six and then repeating. 
So it's 2, 6, 2, 6, and repeat. Okay, there's a slight bit of whirring right now. Nonetheless, the lid down, it is a very, very quiet watch winder. And of course, let's control the winding with the switches right there so you can control them automatically or separately with each of the switches located behind right there okay and just popping the lid up once again and of course let's try and fit some watches onto it but before I fit them on the turntable let's find out the width with a watch fitted in one of the storage compartments below okay so over here I have a Tudor Heritage Black Bay Harrod Special Edition, which I've unboxed on the channel before, and it does have a Georgia Straps elastic NATO watch strap, which I've unpacked very recently before. So fitting the 41 millimeter case size watch onto the pillow right here. Of course, we need to be a bit careful here. And just strapping the elastic strap through. And let's oh, let's let's do this properly. Let's slide it through that first keeper and of course the second keeper as well. So I can tell you that the struggle is real, but obviously it's because there is a tripod in the way. But we get there eventually. Okay. <laughs> a little bit fiddly right here, but we're almost there. And okay, so they're right through the second keeper, and you can see the 41 millimeter case size of the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Harrod Special Edition on one of the pillows of the one of six individual compartments right here. Let's pop it in, and you can see it just about fits into one of the sections right there. But nonetheless, it does fit. And I'm just going to show you right there with my hands out of the way. And then of course, lifting it to give you a better view of one of the six compartments right there with the 41 millimeter case size Harrods Special Edition Tudor Heritage Black Bay watch right there okay so closing that lid down and just tidying up the cable make sure that it's not in the way again so right there does accept that 41 millimeter case size watch just about fine in that section there Okay, so now let's pop that cushion off or pillow off and fit it onto one of the pillows for the watch winder turntable. So taking that pillow off and then now strapping the George's Straps Elastic NATO Watch Strap. Of course, I unpacked this very recently on the YouTube channel, so you can always look it up. So it is the George's Straps Elastic NATO Watch Strap. 
blue and white. And once again, this time round, I should do it a little bit more quickly. But of course, this one is with the stiffer pillow, as you can see, and the fitment right there of the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Harrod Special Edition with its 41mm case size. Okay, so right there. Nice good look overall. As to the fitment of the watch on the pillow of one of the turntables. So setting that in, let's see if I can pop it in. Just about with the keeper. The keeper is the thing that's in the way right there. But nonetheless, it does fit and it does stay right there nice and snugly. Okay, so now let's flip the switch. And you can see the watch turning right there. And let's see if I do a quick on off whether it changes direction instantly. Nope. So once again, as I mentioned, it does do a two minute of turning in one direction and then pausing for six and then two minutes of turning in the opposite direction, pausing for six and then repeating that cycle. But there we go. Nice. Good look there. Fitment seems to be just about fine for that 41 millimeter watch. However, if you're supposed to fit another 41 millimeter case size watch or larger, it will struggle or press against each other. As you can see right there, that the spacing does not really allow for another equally sized watch or larger. Okay, so that's one watch winder turning away. It does produce a bit of a grinding noise on that winder at a certain point about right there let's see and it should be right there again there we go when the watch is around there or when that position is towards the six o'clock point it does produce a little bit of a grinding noise but hopefully that should with a bit of jiggle should correct itself but nonetheless with the lid down it is very very quiet almost inaudible at all so we're going to give you this close-up look so you can see directly into the box and you can hear that slight grinding noise again it's obviously a little bit of fault right there with the mechanism or motor but hopefully as i mentioned with a little bit of wiggling or jiggling it should hopefully fix itself and right there you can see it is at the point of that two minute mark where it has paused and it will stay paused for six minutes before turning in the opposite direction so while that's happening let's fit another watch on this side so six minutes is a long time to pass but my videos are pretty long anyway without any edits or anything so over here nonetheless I do have a Tudor Heritage Black Bay Bronze. Well, actually, is it bronze? Yeah, it is. Tudor Heritage Black Bay Bronze Bukhara Blue Edition. I've unboxed this watch before and it's on the Barton Watch Band Jetson NATO Style Watch Strap, which I've unpacked on the channel before as well you can always look up that video so the, the watch itself does have a 43 millimeter case size so it is fairly large so now i'm going to strap the tudor heritage black bay bronze bukhara blue edition onto one of the pillows on the other let's make sure it's nice and tight right there 
onto the other pillows right here, giving you an idea of the size once again. So this one is a 43 millimeter case size watch. So two millimeters larger than the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Harrod Special Edition, which is waiting for its turn in the watch winder to turn again. It's right there giving you a nice good look overall at the watch fitted onto the pillow of one of the turntables and fitment once again it does sit snug which is nice but obviously this being a larger watch we already showed you with the 41 millimeter case size of the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Harrod Special Edition that it will struggle to fit another equally sized watch right next to it and they will definitely touch at 41 millimeters but I think if they were 40 millimeters or smaller they will sit next to each other just about fine but will sit very very closely and so 43 millimeters, 41 millimeters right there. And let's flip the switch on for this watch turntable. It's right there. So once again, so it's turn for two minutes and then pausing for six and then turns opposite direction for two minutes, pausing for six and then repeating that cycle from the opposite direction. So this one, as you've noticed, doesn't have any whirring or grinding noise on this second watch winder turntable. It's only the one on the left that's producing a bit of a grinding noise. But nonetheless, giving you a nice good look right here of both watches. Of both watch winding turntables are on. The one on the left is just waiting for six minutes to pass so that it can turn in the opposite direction from which it started. But you can hear just how quiet it is. Extremely, extremely quiet watch winder when it's working as it should. It's right there giving you a look straight into the watch winder again. With the two turntables. And before, before long, we should see that first turntable on the left turn in the opposite direction to the one on the right. All right here, giving you a nice close-up look at both watches and both turntables. And just how quiet that operation is with the near silent motor. So with the lid down, as I mentioned, they are almost inaudible. Well, it's nice to see that they're both stopped at a very, very nice angle to each other. Right there. The one on the left should start turning any moment. So let's wait and see. In the meantime, just giving you, once again, various looks and angles to this Dioche for watch winder. And it's nice, glossy, dark red, red vein, wood box. And just making sure that I didn't switch the other side off, just giving you a look at the switches once again, right there, for individual control of each of the turntables. And there we go. So six minutes has passed, and you can see now that the turntable on the left is now winding in the opposite direction, right there. And that grinding noise is still there, unfortunately, but we'll sort it out if I can't sort it out. Then we'll just have to contact the OSH customer support 
for assistance with the issue. Right there, giving you a nice good look. So I'm going to restart the one on the right so you can see both turning and in different directions to each other. Okay, going to put the lid down. So apart, as I mentioned, from that grinding noise on the left watch winder, it does work actually very, very quietly. Should there not be an issue with the mechanism on the left watch winder. But nonetheless, overall, beautiful watch winder, nicely designed. Size wise, it could be designed with a little bit more space in mind for larger watches. You can hear just how quiet it is once that left watch winder turntable has stopped turning because of that grinding issue with whichever fault it's experiencing. Right there, as it should, nice and quiet on the right watch winder. Okay, so there we go, both watch winders. I'm going to restart both turntables. You can see both watches turning around. So that's the deal for watch winder. Thanks for watching and happy winding.